I'm moving towards my death. Everything that I've been through since the second I entered that diner, all of it was leading me to this moment. I was tired of fighting, running and hiding all the time. I was losing anyway. There was only one thing left to do. Try to save Tiffany's life. And after that, I decided not to fight my destiny anymore. Tiffany, she's at the top of the roller coaster. I have to find a way up there. That's weird. I get the feeling I've seen that guy somewhere before. Good. Very good. Now you must find the Indigo Child as soon as possible. There isn't much time. The visions are becoming clearer and clearer. I've nearly got her position localized. Move quickly. Time is short. The Child must not escape us. The prophecy must be fulfilled. You may leave us. That's it. It's over. Now there's nothing to do but wait, though it shouldn't be long. Perfect. All has gone according to plan. I sense another signal. Cerebral's final activity. I think he's dreaming.
Wake up, Marcus, it's time. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Are you sure you want to go, Lucas? It could be dangerous. We have to go in there ready for anything, Marcus, right? Maybe there'll be an alien spaceship inside, or the tomb of an ancient king, and all of his treasure. Or a giant frozen dinosaur? And what if it's a secret weapon to take over the world? Come on, let's hurry. The hangar's gonna be well guarded. We better get going if we don't want Mom and Dad to catch us. Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately. Further, that soldier's blocking the way. One of us should sneak around the back and find a way to avoid him. Marcus before going on. Without being seen is to climb up the telephone pole and hang off of the cable. Impossible! That pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. Listen, I'm gonna try to get him to look the other way. Meanwhile, you run and climb up the pole. I'll try to set it up so you have enough time. Okay, but how are you gonna get in? I'll meet you back at the house. You tell me everything when you get back. At least that way we'll know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. It 
It's all up to you, Lucas. Hey, what do you think you're doing there? I'm looking for my cat, sir. He ran out of the house. He was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. You shouldn't be out prowling around alone at this hour. What about my cat, sir? We'll find him tomorrow. Right now, you go on back home. When I got the call, I didn't hesitate for one second. I came without telling anybody, not even Tyler. All I knew is that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper, Lucas Kane's ex-girlfriend. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. You got a lot of guts, Mr. Kane. To call my office and ask for a meeting when every cop in the country is hot on your trail. I didn't see that coming. Your investigation has too many shadowy areas in it for you to content yourself with the official version. You're here because you think I might have the answers to your questions. It's weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his breath was already cold. Well then, who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. The oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit, and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. You mean the Orange Clan? You already know about them? I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Orange Clan. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But his story is consistent seems to fit with what I already know. And your apartment? 
When we came to arrest you, the walls were covered with ritualistic symbols and articles about the murder cut out of the paper. It was all arranged to make me the ideal suspect. The Oracle and the Orange Clan were behind all that. There have been other similar murders, haven't there? The Oracle has been waiting for the Indigo Child for over 2,000 years. But he didn't know when or where she would arrive. So he had to do periodic sacrifices in order to find her as soon as she was born. And you? What's your role in all of this? I was just a random victim of the Oracle. Nothing more. How did you learn all of this? I just know, that's all. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, are you going to help me? Help you? Why should I help you? For the same reason that you agreed to come here this morning without alerting anyone. Because you know I'm telling the truth. Because if we don't do something quickly, the cold will cover the entire planet and there won't be a tomorrow. And even if you're right, what can we do about it? Nobody's gonna believe all this. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and hide her someplace safe. Do you know where she is? Not yet, but I'll find her. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. If he sees her, I'll see her. Oh, this is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. You're free to choose which side you're on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. But you must decide quickly. I haven't got much time. What am I supposed to do? If he's lying, I'm aiding a murderer and I'll go to prison. But if he's telling the truth, I have to help him. So, either you're crazy or you're some kind of hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. His hand. It's as cold as ice. <laughs>